Hi lovelies, welcome to Biobi Show. I'm Doris or simply call me Biobi. I talk about studies, migration. I also share my experiences and also help students to get settled. So if this is the kind of content that you've been searching for, then you are in the right community. And if you have not subscribed, please kindly do well subscribe please share my videos if you have been getting values because with this you are helping you helping me so that youtube can always recommend my video okay so in this video i will be talking about five skills that every international student must have okay while preparing yourself to come to portugal so these skills are very essential so if you have not learned or you don't have any skills any of these skills please try and learn it because it's going to help you while you are here in portugal so the number one skill is learn how to drive be it a truck be it um to know how to ride a bicycle, be it even a car, you need to have the skill, okay? Uh, I think I should share the story. There is this student who came to Portugal and he desperately needed a job. And at that time, he hasn't got his resident permit. I you know in Portugal, without your resident permit, you cannot work. But this guy has this skill. He knows how to ride bicycle. And in Portugal, <laughs> you see a lot of people riding bicycles, okay? So he saw an advert online, someone who said he wants to rent his Uber <clears throat> username and password. And you know, if you, are, if you don't have a resident card, you cannot do all those business. But because this guy knows how to ride the bicycle, he took advantage. He chatted the guy and the guy gave him the the username and password and that was how this guy started his business so can you believe that as time went on this guy after buying the bicycle since he knows how to ride the bicycle he from there he bought a scooter you know a scooter he later graduated this is what because he had that skill he graduated and he bought a scooter for himself which is he really made a lot okay so having this skill gives you a chance of you know a lot of opportunity that you can do there are some companies that you might go to they might ask you do you have this driving skill and if you don't have it it's another thing and don't forget to bring your driver's license from any country that you're coming to okay the number two is learn how to make hair <laughs> Whether you are a guy or you are a lady, please, knowing how to make hair in Portugal is really, really very important because it's really very expensive to make hair. When I say expensive, I mean very expensive. I remember when I came to Portugal and then I never had my resident card because it was still on process. So I know how to make hair. I used to make all my hair by myself, okay? So what I did then was I started writing on paper. I will translate, you know, it's in Portuguese. So we have a lot, when I say a lot of blacks, Portuguese colonized lots of blacks. And so we have lots of blacks here, although they don't speak English. So I wrote in the paper, I got, in fact, I downloaded styles from <laughs> online. And I always show them whenever I pass, I just show any any black lady I see, I know how to make it. And do you know then I think then they were making uh, 100 euros then, yes, to make just um braids. I think it was 100 euros then. And then when I came in, I don't have a shop, I was not registered. I was just charging 40 euros. I know what it means then when you are just come when you are trying to settle. It's really a uh, I was actually making something out of it. So knowing how to make it, you stand opportunity to do business. Even while you're studying, you have a part-time job. Even when you get a full-time job that you work from Monday to Friday, on Saturdays, you can do your part-time job. And why? Because you have a skill. And what is that skill? 
learning how to make the third skill is learn how to cook yes cooking is not meant for women only okay if you're a guy you know how to cook learn it well you know how to make all this traditional food it will really help you a lot of people are just want to buy just want to spend their money outside they don't have time to cook and you having that skills you know what you start to get learn how to cook you start it gives you advantage probably they want to do something you know traditionally in a place you would be invited somebody will tell give you the contract hey can you make 50 pack of food that people can eat and you know you would always make your cool cash from there so learn how to cook it's going to be a great skills for you don't say biop did not tell you okay another one is basic maintenance in the house that is you know you want to paint your house you want to change bulb you want to do anything any appliances just the basic one you got to learn all the skills i remember when we wanted to paint our apartment and we called the painter to come estimate how much he was going to collect the painter charged us 2400 euros as a matter of fact, immediately I saw it, I was like, 2,400 euros. Yes, I'm telling you the basic truth. These basic things that we call common, these are what an average Portuguese, an average Portuguese, they know how to paint house, they know how to, you know, they maybe they, are, they, are, they have maybe water issue. These are what they know how to do. And you that you're a foreigner, you call them to come and do this for you. It's virtual, virtually very expensive. And you knowing how to paint your own house, knowing how to do all these electric appliances, all the basic one, would literally help you save your money, okay? With all these skills, when you know them, you will save yourself, not only for yourself, you can even do a partial like a, a, a minor work for others and you will get paid these skills are very important in fact they are essential if you don't have them then get ready to come and spend a lot here even cobbler you know what you know how to sew your shoe pack everything and come down here because once your shoe gets spoiled as a matter of fact either you keep it or you don't in fact you just have to keep it aside because the money you will use in repairing them, you would rather go and buy another one. So knowing how to do all these basic things would actually help you save your money. Also, you make business out of it. As you know, as an average Nigerian or an average African, we love business. We have skills and so coming down here you can actually utilize them number five as a student learn how to write cv okay um like majority of us have actually reached out to me and say hey by will be what kind of job can i do here what kind of job can i as a matter of fact you don't even need to be a specialist in this, aside from the professional jobs like um, being a medical personnel or being an IT personnel, like any other job, just like this um, customer support, these are what an average, like an average person can actually do. Okay, like for example, you go online, you search for job because basically when you come to Portugal as a student, you have to learn how to solve the internet. Okay, you go online and they are requesting for a customer support in technical, <laughs> you know, a technical person. Now, you, I don't expect that you go there and you 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 apply for the job or you see the job and don't apply as a matter of fact i think i should share my own experience there was a day i saw a post and currently that's the job i'm actually doing i saw a post where they needed a technical support 
a customer came. Yes, I've never done anything IT, okay? But then it's an opportunity, a customer support. Like, I knew I was going to get trained. They were going to train me. And definitely, I have to edit my CV from... I am a data analyst, okay? But I had to, since I could not get the data analyst job and the one available, I had to edit my CV to form, to conform to that technical support that they wanted, okay? So knowing how to edit, knowing how to write CV would actually help you, okay? Because let me tell you, it might not be what you've read that you're coming down here to do, okay? Bear it in mind that whatever job that you're going to apply for and you're taking, mm, you will be get the you you'll be trained for it. Okay. So me immediately I saw the job. I knew I was going to fit in for the job. All I needed to do was to edit my CV. And when I did it, I applied and I was chosen. Yes, when I was called for interview, yes, I got myself prepared and I was trained for two weeks and immediately I started the job. I'm sure you learning how to edit a CV would save you a lot and get to probably that dream job that you never expected, okay? Well, there are lots of skills that you should have as a, as a migrant or as an international student coming to another country to reside okay you knowing how to swim knowing how to manage your time time management is also a skill yes because if you come to portugal basically you might not even have time time for social life time to manage with time to spend with your family time to also read time to do all these things they are skills these are what you should have and when you have all the skill i bet you your, your, your life might actually be difficult at the initial time, but as time goes on, you find out that you're doing well. And lest I forget, if you are a guy, get your clippers, clippers for cutting hair. Get them and bring them because in Portugal to cut hair, I don't know in other cities, but in Avero, it is 20 euros. Okay, so. <laughs> Get yourself prepared and um, having these skills would actually help you. I know this video would help a lot of students, not just one person. I know it will help a lot of students. Get yourself informed, get yourself equipped and get yourself ready. Thank you so much. If this video have added values to you, okay, please don't forget to share it to your loved ones. Don't forget to also comment, okay? Don't just come to my DMs comment okay and all these things will also make me to want to do more okay thank you so much and see you in my next video bye bye ciao